Good afternoon to you all. I hope you guys are doing very well. And this is your mathematics teacher, Sir Lawrence, or a Wua, popularly known as a Wua. And uh, I'm from St. Mary School, Kofredia, in the Eastern region to be precise. And I'm going to take you through um, percentages. Now, in my previous lessons, I discussed with you about percentage increase and, and decrease. Today, we're going to look at another aspect of percentages, which is under percentage decrease, and that is discount. And I'm going to give you the, in fact, the simple way and then simple methods that we can use to calculate discount. So I'd like you to pay attention and follow the lesson. Um, please try as much as possible to also um, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like, I want you to like most of the videos. Thank you. So get ready and let's roll. Good. So we're looking at discounts, discounts, discounts. No, it's it's a popular word that we've all been using um, at the market, in school, supermarkets, wherever, wherever we find yourself. You normally, um, or we normally use words like discounts. And especially in the business, in the business field, we use words like, like discount, discount. Now, for example, when you go to supermarkets, okay, they normally do um, production sales or promotional sales, especially at the end of the year, they normally do the promotional sales, okay? Meaning that they give um, reduction in um in the sale of uh, um, goods and other products okay and the reduction in the sale price of a given product is referred to as discount so that is discount okay that is what that is discount so when we talk of discount discount refers to a reduction okay or a deduction from the usual cost of something Discount is a reduction. It's a reduction. It's a reduction or deduction. It's a reduction or deduction from the usual cost from the usual cost of something. Good, so this counts as a reduction or deduction from the usual cost of, of something. And um, normally it is expressed in, in terms of percentage, okay? It is normally given in what? In percentage. So they can reduce the price of a commodity or the price of a given item can be reduced by a given percentage or by a given percent, okay? So discount is also percentage decrease. That's why earlier I explained to you that in the previous lesson, if you understand 
percentage decrease, then that is that is discount. That is discount because under percentage decrease, we are reducing the prices. Okay, we are reducing the prices of items. Discount to be giving reduction. We are reducing the prices of 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 items. Okay, good. So that is that is discount. That is discount. That is discount. Now. There are some key words that you need to know under discount. You're going to meet words like mark price. Mark price. Mark price. When we talk of the mark price of an item, okay, we're talking about the original price of the item. So when we go to the supermarket, on every item, okay, they have a price list, the price tags on, on every item. Good. So the prices on the various items, okay, are referred to as the mark prices or the mark price. That is a mark price. So when you go to um any supermarket, so let's say if I go to Melco and uh, I'm going to buy Milo tin. So Milo, that's my Milo tin. And then the price tag on it is, let's say, 20 GH. So that is the mark price. That's the mark price. Okay. That is the mark price. The original price of the item. That is the mark price. Okay. That's the mark price. So the company or the, 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 the shop or the supermarket can decide to give you a discount on this mark price. Okay, so mark price, we are referring to the, the, the price less on the item, the price on the item or the original price of the item. Okay, original price of the item. Good. Now, which means that discount, discount is a percentage of the marked price. Okay, discount is therefore a percentage of the marked price. Discount is therefore a percentage of the marked price. So whenever you are being asked to find a discount, okay, we just find the percentage of the marked price. So discount should be equal to the marked price times the percentage discount. So discount should be equal to the mark price times the percentage discount. The mark price times the percentage discount. Okay, so let us take one or two examples of it. We, we quickly take one or two examples of that, okay? So let's take our first example.
Good. The mark price of an article is 65,000 GH. That's my, the unit I'm using. That's my currency. Good. The mark price of an article is 65,000 GH. It is also subject to cash discount of 6%. Find the cash price of the art article, okay? Find the cash price of the article. Good. So we have been given the mark price. That's the original price of the article. It's 65,000. And we've been given a discount of 6%. So meaning we are reducing, okay? Or we are decreasing 65,000 by 6%. That's what we're supposed to do, okay? We are decreasing 65,000 by 6%. We have two main ways of doing this. Now, the first approach, discount is a percentage of the mark price. Take note of that. So discount is a percentage of the mark price. So the first thing you're supposed to do is to find the, the discount. So discount, is equal to six over 100 times 6,000, that's 65,000, right? Good, so 6% of 65,000 will give you the discount. We cancel out the zeros, zero, we cancel zero, then zero, we cancel zero. So we multiply six by 650, that gives us 3,900. Three thousand nine hundred. That is 3,900. Good. So meaning that the discount, the discount is 3,900, okay? So you are not going to pay 65,000 when buying the article at a cash price. You are being given a discount of 6% and that will give you 3,900, okay? So to determine the cash price, then the cash price, should give you 65,000 GH minus 3,900 GH. And that will give you 61,100 GH. Good, so the cash price is the same as the new price. Take note of that. The cash price is the same as the new, new price, okay? So the cash price would be 61,100 GH. And the discount is 3,900. So as I said earlier on, discount is on a percentage decrease, okay? We are reducing the price of the item. Using proportion, again, we can use proportion here. Using proportion, the mark price is the same as original price. And I, the mark price or the original price should be equivalent to 100%. So the mark price that is 65,000 GH should give us 100%. And then the new price or the cash price It is discount, and discount is um, the reduction in sale price, okay? So we have reduced 100% by 6%. So we're supposed to subtract 6% from 100%. We're not supposed to add, because discount is percentage decrease. We are decreasing the price of the item. So that'll give you 94 So the cash price, the new price, okay, should be equivalent to 94%. Now, there's a reduction in sale price. So the cash price should give us less because we have a reduction. Okay, we compare 94% to 100%. 94% should give us less. And if less, more divides. So that'll give us 
65,000 times 94 divided by 100. We cancel our zeros. Zero will cancel zero. Zero will cancel zero. And 650 times 94, that gives you 61,100 GH. That gives 61,100 GH. Cool. Let's take another example. This time you're going to try before I come in. Let's take another example, a quick one. Okay, the max price of a chair was RS 1,200. It was sold at a discount of 10% on the max price. Find the new price of the article. Find the new price of the article. I'm giving you some few seconds to do this for me. Try it for me, some few seconds to try this for me. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's all work it together. The max price of a chair was RS 1,200. It was sold at a discount of 10% on the max price. Find a new price of the article. Using the first approach, 
we find the discount, okay? And the discount will be a percentage of the mark price. So we find 10% of the mark price. So discount, Should be equal to 10 out of 100 times 1,200. So we cancel our zeros. Zero will cancel zero. Zero will cancel zero. And 10 times 12, that'll give you 120. So that'll be the discount. That will be the discount, okay? But we want a new price. So the new price should be equal to, so we subtract the discount from the mark price, okay? That gives us the new price or the cash price of the article. So that is RS. 1,200 minus RS, 120, and that gives us 1,080. So that'll be the new price, that give 1,080. Using proportion, using proportion. Now the mark price should be equivalent to 100%. Right, so then 1,200, that is RS 1,200, should give us 100%. The mark price, the original price, should give us 100%. So the new price should be equal to 're going to have a reduction okay so we have reduced hundred percent by ten percent so that gives us 90 percent discount is under percentage decrease again the new price okay we're comparing 90 percent to hundred percent 90 percent will give us less so the new price will give us less and if less more divides okay if less more, divides and that will give us 1,200 times 90 divided by 100. We cancel out the zero, so zero will cancel zero, zero will cancel zero. And 12 times um, 90, that is 1,080. So the new price would be 1,080, that would be the new price. Okay, now, um, in some cases, the, the new price or the sale price will be given, okay, with the, with the discount, percentage discount. The new price and then the sale price will be given with a percentage discount. And you'll be asked to find the mark price or the original price of the item, okay? Sometimes the new price will be given or the, the, the sale price will be given and you'll be asked to find the, the mark price or the original price of the item. That is where we, we, we need the idea of, of proportion, okay? That's where we need the idea of proportion. Let us look at one example of that.
Ok. Good. So Judith paid 72 GH for an ornament after a discount of 10% had been allowed. What was the mark price of the ornament? Judith paid 72 GH for an ornament after a discount of 10% had been allowed. What was the mark price? of the ornament. Good. So I explained to you earlier on in our previous lessons that the, the mark price, that's the original price of the item or of the article, should be equivalent to 100 um, percent. Okay. So we don't know the mark price that we are showing for. So the mark price The mark price should be equivalent to 100%. And then the sale price or the new price, okay? So that is 72 GH. Should give us, now there's a reduction in sale price by 10%, okay? So that should give us the reduction in sale price, that is 90%. So we have reduced 100% by 10%, that gives us 90%. Good. Now we're comparing 100% um, to 90%. 100% will give us more. Okay. 100% will give us more. So if more, less divides. So the mark price will be 72 times 100 divided by 90. Let us cancel out our zeros. So zero, we we'll cancel zero. The nine times eight will give us 72. Then eight times 10, that gives us 80 GH. That gives us 80 GH. So the mark price, she gives us 80 GH, 80 GH. Let me give you one to try. Let me give you one to try.
Zach paid 450GH for a moto at a discount of 10%. Find the actual selling price of the moto. So Zach paid 450GH for a moto. So that is the, 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 the new price, okay? Or the cash price for the moto. At a discount of 10%, find the actual selling price, the actual selling price. The actual selling price, meaning we want the mark price. We want the mark price. Try it. I'm giving you some few seconds for you to try. Some few seconds. Try it for me. Okay, so Zach paid 450GH for a moto at a discount of 10%. Find the actual selling price of the moto. Again, the mark price, that's the original price, that's the actual, the actual selling price of the item should be equivalent to 100%. So the mark price, And then the cash price or the new price, that is 450 GH. There is a reduction in sale price by 10%. So we are reducing 100% by 10. So that gives us 90%. We're comparing 100% to 90%. 100% will give us more. Okay, 100% will give us more because under discount, under percentage decrease, the original price will always be more than the new price. For the new price, there's a reduction. So under discount or uh, percentage um, decrease, the original price will always be less than the new price. So 100% will always be more than, sorry. So 100% will give us more, okay? 100% will give us more. Clear. So since 100% is giving us more, if more, less divides. So the mark price should be 450 times 100 divided by 90. We cancel our zeros, right? So zero, we cancel zero. And then nine times five, nine, five, 45. 45. There's a teacher I must call 45. So 9 times 5 will give you 45. Okay. So 5 times 100, that'll give you 500. So the original price or the actual selling price of the article is 500 GH. Good. Um, is it not interesting? to understand the concept this way is not interesting. I believe you're, you, you start developing the, the interest and then uh, uh, for mathematics, I believe you started developing the interest for mathematics. So we're going to end it here for today, but before we close the lesson, a quick summary of what we've discussed so far in the lesson or of the lesson. So we 
explain that when we talk of um, discount, okay? When we talk of discount, discount simply refers to a reduction or deduction from the usual cost of something or of an item. Or it's also the reduction in sale prices by a given percentage. It's a reduction in sale prices by giving percentage. So to calculate the discount of any given item, discount should be equal to the mark price times the percentage discount. So when you multiply the mark price by the percentage discount, you're going to have what we call the, the discount. Good. So when you subtract, okay, when you subtract the discount from the mark price, that will give you the new, the new price, or we can use proportion. So viewers, we end the lesson here for um, on discount. Please, I want you to try your possible best. Share the link, continue sharing. I want you to like, continue liking, and I want you to, to subscribe. Don't just watch the video and go. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Help us to create quality content for you. So subscribe and help us to create quality content for you. So we meet again. Bye-bye.